when you want to make a 50 hertz or 60 hertz square wave oscillator there are many possibilities um, say you can use the 555 chip very very common but you can also do it in say a more or less old school way the 555 chip is I think more stable compared to this circuit but anyway this could also work good in a certain situation of course such a circuit um, suffers in a certain way of some things for instance the temperature and the supply voltage that is very critical that means that you need a stabilized voltage supply it's now on 11.8 volts so you can use such a stabilizer chip of the 7812 family in the positive lead and a decoupling capacitor here of say 100 microfarad etc etc but this is more or less a bare circuit um, it needs say of course alignment at first you can hear with these two potentiometers set the duty cycle and when everything is aligned uh, you can or must uh, replace the potentiometer with a fixed value resistor again the schematic all the transistors are the same I've used the BC549C uh, it has a high amplification factor current amplification factor this is what I mean two capacitors here it is of course a multi vibrator circuit a stable multi vibrator and the frequency is set uh, by the values of the capacitors and these two uh, potentiometers they are variable resistors of course this is a kind of buffer stage to make the waveform somewhat better here is the waveform it's now on 49 Hertz you can see here there is a kind of good duty cycle here and I will now uh, turn one of the potentiometers to show what happens well let me try turn out the second potentiometer in the circuit now we are suddenly on 92 Hertz this is the sound well oh the the potential meter broke loose I will uh, directly solder it again take some time sorry for that I also want to use this time say don't want to get into these kinds of problems anyway soldered again uh, let's listen 27 Hertz Six hertz. So there is say uh, when turning that potentiometer a critical position of that potentiometer where it works in the range where it was developed for, and that is between 50 and 60 hertz. So 55 hertz now. Let's listen again. Always important. Try to get to, to 60 Hertz. Well, that was 65 Hertz, but the whole idea is that you can say with these two potentiometers set the duty cycle and the frequency 
that was more or less all to tell. Thanks for watching. Of course, when you change the values of the capacitors here, you will get to completely other frequency bands anyway. Uh, I think it, it could be a useful circuit when, say, stability is not the biggest issue. Again, thanks for watching.